Chameleon Support Sensor Overview of the Chameleon Control User Interface This video will guide you through the user interface of the Chameleon Control, the site where you manage your chameleons. You enter Chameleon Control after you have connected your chameleon to the computer and typed in its IP address. The first tab you will see is the status. Status is here divided in five fields, namely Required Action Summary, Module Identification, Configuration, Status, and Service License Agreement. In this example, the Required Action Summary box is visible and indicates that one or more settings need to be configured. The specific settings that need your attention will also be pointed out with an exclamation mark. If your chameleon is fully set up, the Required Action Summary field will not show. The second field, Module Identification, shows the serial number and hardware revision of your chameleon. It also consists of free text fields, which can be edited mainly for your own use. For example, if you want to give your chameleon a specific name, add a location, or a certain description. The next field, Configuration, gives an overview of the operation mode, software version, and software options. Below. The field status shows the amount of time your chameleon has been switched on since the last restart. It also displays the current temperature level of the hardware. And finally, Service License Agreement shows how much time remains on your demo version. It also shows if the chameleon has been registered on Chameleon Connect and informs you of the date when the rights to free software updates expires. Now look at the next tab, Input. This is where you add and choose input modes. By clicking on Add New Input, you can configure the input settings. The same goes for the next tab, Output. This is where you add and choose output modes. By clicking on Add New Output, you can configure the output settings. By clicking on Service Management, the fourth tab in the top menu, you can manage your services. This can only be done after you have configured the input and output settings. Here you will choose the services from input to output. The last tab, Settings, contains all the basic settings for the module. 